Hello, Miriam. Uh, Hello. Uh, Are you smiling? Uh, oh, what a lovely baby. Kenton! I'm two and a half. And do you go to playgroup? Yes. Did you? Lovely. I'll be pleased. Where's Daddy? Miriam. 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 Can you look this way, Miriam? This way. Is that much more interesting? Hello, Miriam. Have you got that hat on? Oh. I got my I got my Peter Pan. Oh. I got my Peter Pan. I got my Peter Pan. Peter Pan Kenton. <laughs> I'm riding on my bike with my hat on. Robin, what is this like Pete Ben's hat? Oh, it is. I do like it.
Brighton. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Hello, Kenton. I think I'd better turn this off. Go in and make some dinner. Was it Jim Tots? <coughs> yeah, Saturday morning. Nice to be at home with just mummy, isn't it? <coughs> Are you looking at the clock ticking? Yes. <coughs> Have you just had your breakfast? Do you like playing with that? Miriam, do you like playing with that? You do. That's a nice toy. Is it a nice toy? Club hands. Oh. Sorry, clap feet.
you say that and I play ba 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 sound uh. this morning? Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Ba ba. Ba 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 ba. You were going. Ah. Uh. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Ah. Oh. Abu. Oh. You're wondering why Mummy's got a black nose. Oh dear. Oh dear, is it gone? Oh dear. Will Mummy get it for you? Yes, please. Bye-bye, Miriam. Working hard. What are you doing, Daniel and Jonathan? Are you doing anything? Well, the bank says I've got a court judgment against me. I was arrested driving my own car. The police reckon it was stolen. Because mistakes are made on computers. The hospital have prescribed penicillin. But she's allergic. Well, there must be some mistake. If you believe there's a mistake about you on a computer, ring the Data Protection Registrar, an independent official, on 0800 800 454 for a free booklet telling you what steps to take. So you're going to my building society. I died three years ago. Well, there must be some mistake. Over the last year, which liquid cleaned more clothes than any other? Incredible. Even Van Gogh never got his colours that bright. Ta-da! Resting. Go! Cleaner than a joke on children's hour. The lot. Aerial liquid. Aerial liquid? Over the last year, cleaned more clothes than any other liquid. Tonight on 4. At 8 o'clock, Kingdom of the Deep swims with the gentle giants of the sea to learn more of their haunting ocean song. At 9 o'clock, Ellen finds herself swimming out of her depth. What are you saying? Two for tonight, on four. Now, for an in-depth look at international news and views, Sheena MacDonald and Michael Nicholson present The World This Week. It's seven o'clock. Welcome to the world this week. As apartheid is dismantled in South Africa, South African President F.W. de Klerk is desperately trying to end his country's diplomatic and economic isolation. We'll be talking to him and to Alfred Nzo, Secretary General of the African National Congress, about the next step for South Africa. And facing allegations of vote rigging and hypocrisy, we ask Romanian Prime Minister Petra Roman whether he is a communist in disguise. Later, President Gorbachev's nationalist problems come home to the Kremlin. A special report on the standoff between Hindu and Muslim in Kashmir. And the first pictures of the rebel army threatening the government of Liberia. But first, with the latest news this Saturday evening, Michael Nicholson. Hello, good evening. 
President George Bush has told the Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev that the Soviet Union must make more concessions before any agreement can be reached on cuts in long-range nuclear weapons. Earlier, the US Secretary of State, Mr. James Baker, meeting his counterpart, Mr. Shevardnadze, in Moscow, had said that both powers would soon be able to announce key parts of a new treaty at the Washington summit at the end of the month. At least 22 people are thought to have died in a train crash in the Soviet Republic of Georgia. More than 90 have been injured. The train on the main line between Georgia and Moscow collided with a freight train. Tens of thousands of students in South Korea defied a police ban and held an anti-government rally in the city of Kwangju. They demanded the resignation of President No Tae U and the withdrawal of American troops stationed in South Korea. The students put up barricades and there was no attempt by police to stop them. The South African government has granted a three-month amnesty to 38 exiled anti-apartheid activists, including the ANC president, Oliver Tambo. It will allow the exiles to return home without fear of prosecution. Meanwhile, after a meeting with Mrs. Thatcher at Chequers, South Africa's president, de Klerk, said he was in a hurry to abolish apartheid. Sheena. President de Klerk's comments in London came on the latest leg of a major tour of European capitals designed to win international support for his programme of reforms. ITN's Trevor MacDonald spoke to President de Klerk an hour ago and asked him how he appraised the views of European leaders towards the changes in South Africa. I found across Europe thus far that there is an understanding of a new reality in South Africa of the irreversibility of what is taking place. There is acceptance of the...